Hey guys, I am going to be doing an unpacking and installation of some LED lights from my boat. I'm going to be putting this uh, on my boat tomorrow. I wanted to show you what the package looked like. This is the package I got from Amazon. Uh, ordered it online two days ago, got it Amazon Prime, which I love. Uh, this is the kit I got. It's actually got two uh, reels of the LED lights. They're waterproof. I'll show you what those look like in just a minute, but I just wanted to show you the packaging that it came in. There is the uh, item number. That's actually what it's called on Amazon. Uh, I saw these on a boat before. They looked really good, so I'm hoping that they turn out well on mine. I'll give you the installation process tomorrow. and. So one thing you need to be aware of is the unit itself does not come with a power supply. You can see that hole right there takes a 12 volt DC uh, power supply. And so I'm going to go straight to my battery. So what I had to do was take an old transformer that we weren't using anymore that has the same emblem here on the lead of being positive in the middle. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's positive in the middle and negative on the outside shield. That's exactly what it says here. It shows a little arrow of being the positive to the inside and then negative on the outside. So what that means is I just took this old transformer that we weren't using anymore and cut it because the inside here is positive and the outside is negative. And what that does is it just plugs right in to there and then I will take these leads and go directly to the 12 volt battery on the boat. So here's the boat we're going to be installing it in. It's my boat. We call it the D-Dub uh, for my initials. Okay, so it's the next morning. We're about to begin again. Here is the uh, the LED lights that I purchased from Amazon. That is actually the item number right there. Here is the controller with the power supply that I showed earlier. Just plugging right into that. And then here is the actual remote control. Two spools. I think this entire kit cost about $23 on Amazon. Again, I just closed up the back of the boat here uh, last night. I plugged the the battery in uh, on the float charger that I normally do. You can see I'm just going to unplug it. All this is is just the float charger, automatic charger to keep my battery alive. And I've pre-wired, as you can see here, the positive or the negative I've already attached. Here's the positive side. We'll go over there. I put an inline fuse um, and then just ran it conveniently. There was a hole there that comes out right here and then I will begin lining the bottom of the gunnel here um, with the LEDs. So first things first, I'm going to clean the entire length of the gunnel uh, with some mineral spirits and get any kind of residue or dirt off of there so that the 3M tape sticks really well and uh, we'll get the process going here. I'll take you step by step as we go. So one of the things you need to determine is obviously you have the red as positive here in this situation but on your power supply cord, the one that I cut, you need to determine which one of these two wires is the positive one and so just by elimination I found out that the wire here with the lines on it is actually the positive side. So I will be attaching the ones with the lines on it to the positive terminal here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just hit it with some heat here on the shrink wrap. Get it all snugged up and hopefully waterproof. Be careful, this thing gets really hot. Now I'll go ahead and attach the positive to the positive side here 
and then begin putting the LED lights in line. So, simple as that. Okay, so before I mount anything here permanently, putting the box up under here, uh, I'm going to just plug it in here now that we've got power and we should have some lights. Ta-da! And then the controller will obviously uh, turn these on and off and change the colors. So, success! Let's now begin lining the underside of the gunnel here with the lights, with the sticky tape, and uh, get her all done. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. I've come all the way up the side of the gunnel from that direction, back of the boat, to the front. And here is a wall that goes to the front of the boat. So I'm going to drill a hole here and run this through. Okay, so I came to the end of this first string of LEDs. I'm going to plug in the second string here uh, and just continue on around the other side of the boat. So again, there's just a little piece of plastic right there. You pull it out and then that will uh, enable the remote. Okay, so you last saw me installing the actual LED strips in the boat, and that went well. I didn't have any issues there, but after getting it all installed, I was very disappointed because uh, I just got very poor performance on it. The remote, as you see here, just did not function well. I couldn't really control the lights. Uh, sometimes they would come on. There's the on and off. Sometimes they would not. Um, sometimes the colors would be the right colors. Sometimes they would not. So I replaced the battery. That was not the problem. The more I played with it, the more it seemed to not work properly. So it got to the place that even when I hit the on and off, the lights would stay on. Could not get them to turn off, so I had to actually disconnect the power lead from the battery. So needless to say, I was a little disappointed. But here's the good part, and props to Amazon. I reached out to Amazon customer service and I explained the problem. I said I believe it's either a bad remote or a bad control unit, the actual brains of the system. So within one day Amazon got back to me and said we want to refund your money for the whole purchase. It was $23 and change uh, for the controller, the remote, and the light switch, or the light strips I should say, that actually went into the boat. I was very pleased with that, although I still did not have a functioning lighting system. So what I did is I obviously took out the control box that I believed was malfunctioning and I purchased this. It's identical to this except for it came from another supplier and I'll have to say that I believe that the quality, just the feel, the weight of this remote versus this one is I believe noticeable. I believe this one is actually just a better quality made product this controller, I really could not tell a difference between it and this one as far as weight or feel or um, fit and finish or anything. Um, but I replaced both. I replaced the old controller and, and remote with these new ones. This is the company, uh, if you want to look it up on Amazon, that I purchased it from. And the, the price was a whopping $6.87, as hopefully you can see right there, for both the new controller and the new remote. I uh, installed it just like I did this one. I put a little Velcro on the back of it just like this, attached it up under the rail of the boat, plugged everything in, and it worked great. I've had no problems with it. Hopefully as it gets a little darker tonight, I will show you what it actually looks like in the boat. And again, I just want to say props to Amazon. They, uh, they more than took care of me here, and they did not have to. Um, so I'm very pleased. I love Amazon Prime. They have been, um, they've been good to me.